Well, folks, they've made it extremely clear what they think about you as an employee. And these corporate giants, these multimillionaires, these billionaires, they are closing down stores. They're closing down fulfillment centers. They are wiping out jobs. They are cutting headcounts with layoffs by the thousands, by the tens of thousands. And they're giving false promises and false hope of what lies beyond as far as future opportunities and job relocation assistance and working with the employees to help them uh, transition to a new facility. Folks, Amazon's biggest layoffs ever start tomorrow. The company is slashing 18,000 jobs, just a fraction of its one and a half million global workforce. Amazon reportedly plans to lay off 10,000 workers this week. Amazon CEO Andy Jassy told employees the company would begin contacting impacted employees on January 18th. The employees will mostly impact, the layoffs will mostly impact the company's Amazon stores division, which encompasses its e-commerce business, as well as the company's brick and mortar stores, and its PXT organizations, which handle human resources and other functions. The latest downturn in big tech. Amazon is reportedly ready to lay off 10,000 workers just ahead of the holiday shopping season. And the cuts would be the largest in Amazon's history and the latest in a string of struggling tech giants reducing their workforce. So what's behind the massive cutbacks? KTLA's Pedro Rivera joins us live with the story. Pedro. Think of this New York Times story, which just broke, reporting that the company plans to lay off around 100, or sorry, 10,000 employees. They're not the only big tech name talking about cost cuts today. Apple shares trading lower this morning after CEO Tim Cook confirmed reports of hiring slowdowns at that company, appearing on CBS this morning, saying the key to success isn't keeping costs low, but investing in the business correctly. Take a listen. We're being very deliberate on our hiring. That means we're continuing to hire, but not everywhere in the company are we hiring. We believe strongly in investing for the long term, mm -hmm. and we don't believe you can save your way to prosperity. We think right. you invest your way to it. Yeah, I think the timing here is important. This is happening right before the biggest week or two uh, of the year, of of. Oh, the holiday shopping season and Amazon shopping season. Amazon has delivered the job cuts it warned about and then some. 18,000 employees will be let go almost twice as many as Amazon was planning just two months ago. And that's just one of the many mass layoffs to tell you about today. Let's bring in Jeannie Lee with more on this. Uh, Jeannie, why this escalation? Well, the uh, CEO of Amazon told staff, uh, Hannah, that uh, it's an uncertain and difficult economy. Uh, but, you know, just how much more difficult did the economy get from just two months ago uh, is the big question here because we know that uh, these uh, cuts that actually have happened are, as you say, much bigger than first announced. And so what we do know is that the all-important holiday shopping season uh, came and went in the last two months. So when the results come out for this quarter, we'll find out exactly how much of an impact that had that precipitated more cuts. Uh, was it a worse season than expected, for example? Down five warehouses in Massachusetts. Online retail giant telling 12 News it's closing these delivery coordination facilities. Mansfield, Randolph, Everett, Dedham, and Milford, Mass. Warehouses being closed for renovations. Employees there being given the uh, opportunity and the chance to work at other locations nearby. All new tonight, Amazon's nationwide cuts are hitting right here in Metro Atlanta. According to our partners at the Atlanta Business Chronicle, Amazon is closing its Kennesaw facility. That's over on Giles Road, just a couple miles from Kennesaw State University. It'll close around April 1st. About 219 people work there, but they have all gotten offers to go to other local Amazon facilities. So why is it closing when it seems like business is booming for Amazon? A spokesperson says it's because the company recently shut down its sewing company, Fabric.com, and that business took up a good part of the Kennesaw facility. Well, folks, they've made it extremely clear what they think about you as an employee. And these corporate giants, these multimillionaires, these billionaires, they are closing down stores. They're closing down fulfillment centers. They are wiping out jobs. They are cutting headcounts with layoffs by the thousands, by the tens of thousands. And they're giving false promises and false hope of what lies beyond as far as future opportunities and 
job relocation assistance and working with the employees to help them uh, transition to a new facility. Folks, it's a bunch of bull and I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to show you why. I'm about to show you why. Folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Help increase the reach so that more folks can gain access to this information, important information, and most importantly, the truth. Folks, links in the description if you want opportunities on building wealth, starting side hustles, building passive income streams, and protecting your assets through diversified portfolio techniques that I myself use every single day. Now, I wanna share with you this recent update from Amazon, uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center. After the company announced closures, check this out, after the company announced closures, and it says that you can see here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you guys can see it. Amazon workers stage a protest outside of the warehouse after being laid off or receiving the announcement that they would be laid off. And this is in Shakopee, Minnesota. Shakopee, I think that's right. And it says that the uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center in Shakopee is closing. Workers there and the company are at odds over the next steps or what the next steps are, okay? Uh, based on what the company has been telling them or perhaps pe maybe telling the, the news and the media and the headlines to save face in comparison to what's actually really happening, folks. The company says that the facility will cease operations at the facility effective March 31st. So you got a little over a month to, um, to find a new job, basically. And I'm, I'm going to explain why. It says that Amazon says that they are working to transfer the roughly 900 employees. And this is what they've been saying all along. With some of these, for, now, now granted they've had statements that they've released about layoffs, but then they've had other statements released about f facility closures, which I was telling you guys was, was coming. It was coming down the pipe. And that they would assist in transitioning and relocating uh, and reassigning these employees, but it's not working out quite like they want you to believe. And it says that workers say the corporation is being anything but accommodating. This is from this is from a, a worker. This is a quote from a worker. And it says that Amazon, once they see that you don't understand the system, they abuse you. Kali Jam, who was acting as the interpreter for the protesters, he said that at Amazon, once they see that you don't understand the system, they abuse you. Can you, can you, can you like, uh, does this like sound familiar to anybody as far as not understanding the system and then getting abused? Meanwhile, they don't know where they're going to go from there. They're fearing they might lose their homes. Why? Because they won't have a job to pay for their mortgages, to pay for their rent. Uh, they probably don't have any money in savings. They don't have any investments. They don't have any backup plans. They may not even have a credit card with a limit high enough to get them out of hot water. Uh, it says that they don't know where they're going to go from there. They're fearing they might lose their homes. And this is this is not just Amazon and the employees that are being um, mistreated in this particular situation uh, and misled and left in the dark, as well as others that just are flat out getting laid off and fired and terminated uh, during this high inflation period of economic crisis and economic collapse. This is this is widespread, folks. I hear this all the time, every day, from a variety of different sources, uh, a lot of different capacities, and it's the the the, gen the general consensus is that it's only going to continue to get worse, not better. Now it says that Amazon says its lease on the building is up at the end of the year, and the company plans to transfer employees across the metro. Otherwise, offering a minimum of four weeks severance pay to anyone who chooses not to go. All right, so their lease is up and they're not renewing it. So what does that tell you about the future of retail, about the future of the supply chain, about the future predictions of these corporate giant CEOs, the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, now CEO, Andy Jassy, like what are they planning? In addition, think about Walmart and the stores that they own that they're closing. The writing is on the wall, folks. Now, it says that according to 
the interpreter here going to brooklyn park is difficult because most of them do share rides and most of them don't drive so you gotta hope that whomever your ride share is with chooses to take the transfer because if if you take the transfer and they don't now you got to figure out how you're going to manage your transportation um and some of these folks don't drive so then it's like well they can't afford to buy odds are they can't afford to, to pay for uber or lyft every single day to go to work so this is just a it's just a big problem folks and it says that the employees disagree with Amazon and, this, and the group says that most workers have been left confused by the transfer process and severance pay and confused by a, comp by a company that they say talks down to them and treats them like nothing. This is their words, not mine, folks. I'm sure I got some Amazon workers watching. If, if I do, please comment. Let's get, let's, get, let's get both sides of the story here. Is this real? Is this true? And uh, it's the interpreter says that I just think that the company is being racist when it comes to certain color. Now, that's very interesting that they chose to go that direction. You know, th is this an attack of, of certain uh, demographics and people of color? Now, I've had some pushback and some complaints and some some um, some some debate on my previous video about Walmart doing the same thing in Albuquerque, New Mexico and in, and in Chicago and in you know all these other Walmart stores that are closing and it's like well is it because that you know they don't feel confident in the future of their revenue and their profits in these remember what I told you folks underperforming facilities or is it something different you know how hard would it be for Amazon to renew this lease is a multi-billion dollar corporation and all of a sudden they're just not going to renew it and give these folks less than 30 uh, a little over a month to figure out what they're going to do because they're i mean this one doesn't even say underperforming it just says they're not going to renew it so you know is this facility pre predominantly filled with employees workers of color now amazon currently has 10 centers in the twin cities so this is just saying that there are other facilities but my question is going to be how many more of these other 10 centers are going to close in the Twin Cities? And that's that's what I would be, I, that's what I would want to know because odds are this isn't going to be the last. It's, it wasn't the first, it will not be the last. And I can pretty much guarantee you, I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to uh, take anybody up on this as far as what is likely to come here in the next 30, 60, 90 days of more closures more layoffs more job cuts more people getting fired and terminated and losing their income through some of these amazon closures walmart shutdowns now walmart's already on the list so we're not gonna we're not gonna go that route but amazon i told you once the other companies start making waves then everybody else is going to step up and be like oh me too yeah we want to close down some stores too we want to close down some facilities too we want to close down some distribution centers too why oh because because everybody's doing it so it's not so bad we won't get the negative press we, we'll get to share the negative press but we're going to do a good thing because we're going to help them transition into their next into their next role yeah it's all lip service meanwhile others like speaking of walmart CEO Doug McMillan, he, think about it like this. These folks work in this fulfillment center. This is not, this is not the end, okay? Because Walmart CEO Doug McMillan now earns almost $26 million a year in total compensation after starting working at Walmart, unloading trucks as a teenager. And now he's the CEO of a multi-billion dollar corporation and he makes he makes uh, over over twenty five million dollars a year in total compensation. So anything's possible. Anything's possible. Uh, folks, I, I, I highly encourage you guys to go out there and try to go get it and grind links in the description. There's some great free information and opportunities down there that anybody can take advantage of to change their their life's path their life's course and i'm talking about life changing money folks but it's also in conjunction with walmart and ceo doug mcmillan sam's club so catherine mcleay sam's club ceo catherine mcleay they are opening 30 new stores so it's like wait 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 
Maybe the economy isn't so bad. Maybe this, maybe retail isn't so bad. Maybe business isn't so bad. Maybe the economy is on its way back up because they're opening 30 new stores. I'll get this, folks. They're opening 30 new stores that are going to utilize more AI and more artificial intelligence and more automation and technology like you guys wouldn't believe. If I showed you some of the stuff that they got going on, it would blow your mind. I may have to do that. I may have to do that because I think there's just some people out there that are about to get got. They're about to get got with some of this new AI that's coming out that's really targeting. It's targeting certain consumers and it's going to hit them hard. And it's, it's, it's going to be a great money making opportunity for one half and the other half is going to be left there just broke. Just They're just coming after you folks. And this is rapidly evolving with open AI, chat GPT, now DID, like it is unreal. Microsoft's pouring money into it. Google's pouring money into it. And like I said, Walmart's closing stores. Amazon's shutting down fulfillment centers. Walmart shut down fulfillment centers. Yet they're still building new stores. They're still building new fulfillment centers. Why? Because they're building them for the AI. They're building them for automation. They're building them to run by themselves without a human being necessary. It's going to be like the uh, it's going to be like the iRobot facility. It's going to be like uh, and what was it? Spider-Man Homecoming. These facilities that are technology centers, they're data centers. They have servers and computers and they have AI that is learning and creating on its own and they're getting rid of the workers, they're getting rid of the people and the folks who are historically, typically left in the dark the last to receive word, the last to get this information, the last to be in the know. Folks, if you feel like that's you, I, I seriously, I, I beg of you to take action now before it's too late.